real nice fit. Real nice fit. Oh. All right. Look at that one. Guys, nice fish in the boat. I'm out with Northwoods guide Josh Krieger. He guides for Muskie Shop Guide Service. You know the tube screamer right here. Put a real nice fish in the boat. All right, guys, cold fronts and rubber. I've got the assault here from Toothy Tough. I've got my shell rod. I've got my tranks. This is going to be the ticket to get you out of trouble when cold fronts hit. Also, too, the Red October tube. That's another perennial favorite. You see Jim, the tube screamer, Stuart working tubes right behind me. These are going to be some baits that are going to really do a lot for you when you're faced with tough conditions. We've got a pretty substantial temperature drop right now. Looking at 45 degrees tomorrow morning, so the, the temp's falling the whole day. You're going to find your bait fish. You're going to find your muskies are relating to that deeper covering structure and rubber really seems to pull them up like I said with this assault eel it's gonna get down it's gonna hit the cover it's gonna hit the weeds and they can't stand it paired up with a shield rod and a quick reel that's gonna put a big muskie in your net guys this is a water wolf rat zilla i got a toothy tough up there let's talk cold fronts and big rubber it doesn't matter if you're throwing tubes it doesn't matter if you're throwing these pool paws baits rubber is going to save you on tough days you saw me with my good friend josh krieger and jim and jay from the musky shop we grinded one out in really tough conditions as you can see behind me again we're faced with tough conditions on the water and i'm gonna turn to rubber so the most important thing i want to have is the right setup for fishing rubber i like my tranks 400 i like my heavy shield rod from the musky shop it's got the backbone to pull these big baits to get the action that we need quick pickup reels are really going to be important so when you're ripping these guys you know you're picking that line up fast enough that you can set the hook so really what you want to do when you're fishing big rubber is just be set up for success I like an 18 inch leader with a swivel on it it allows that bait to run a little bit better now when I want to make a basic throw with one of these things I'm gonna pitch him out pull across my body pick up the slack right that's the real basic move here we're gonna pull pause that's what I call them pull pause baits but if we want to really elicit a strike we've got to get down and dirty with these things so a lot of times what I'm looking to do is say look like right now I'm targeting some shoreline vegetation I'm gonna throw this guy out there and figure out just where that vegetation is let him sink down get into the vegetation but rip those tops right so I'm gonna rip and sometimes I'll add a double pop here just adding a little hang time right so each time as we're working the bait back make sure that hang times there but you're ready to set the hook because he's gonna eat this thing when you're on the pause same thing applies for my good friend Dan over at toothy tough he makes the assault eel one of my favorite new soft plastic baits. it's got a unique hang time you can see this big flat bottom allows this bait to just sort of linger over top of cover and structure a little bit longer than other pool paws baits right so when I launch this guy out over this shallow vegetation I can allow it to hang just a second longer to get down there and entice a negative or neutral muskie rip in here and when you're on the pause be picking up that slack because that's when he's gonna light you up and put a big muskie in your net I'm up here ripping rubber with the Northwoods maniac my good friend Josh Krieger Josh you're a guide up here you guide for the muskie shop you put some big fish in the boat but you do a lot of rubber fishing correct yep one thing we're just discussing, we're talking about how to fish, how to fish your retrieves, mm -hmm. but there's a special hook set when it comes to rubber, isn't there? You really need to be like ready at all times. Yeah, a lot of times they, they hit on the pause, so no slack in your line is the big key to that. So what I like to do is I'll rip that bait and then I'll keep my rod tip where I just ended the rip and I will reel and kind of chase my line with the rod tip so that I'm not really getting any slack in that line so that I'm ready for when that fish strikes, I can set the hook and there's no slack. And one thing we're gonna do real quick is just sort of talk about it is that hook set, right? And so when we throw this guy out here and what Josh is saying on that rip, rip towards it and trace, 
but when you go to set the hook on these things you really need to set the hook because we're trying to move those teeth that rubber through a lot of teeth so when you've done that rip that you need to fire back with as much pressure as you can to drive that rubber through a muskie's teeth and get a good hook set yep. that's probably the one thing that most people miss so make sure on your rubber hook sets as hard as you can and keep the pressure on because they're, they're easier to shake than maybe a bucktail keep the pressure on that fish and he's going to end up in your net well, Musky Musky Shop TV. TV.